Hello, my name is Angela, also known as Swaha. Today's tip of the day is actually about teaching you um, to ask three significant questions. You ask these same questions to yourself each and every day. And the reason that we're going to ask these questions is to help get clarity of who we are, what we want, and how we can help and serve. Um, because many of us feel confused in um, what we're supposed to be doing with our life. Many of us may feel confused of what's the right path for us. Many of us may be struggling with wondering who the heck am I and what am I doing here? And, um, and many of us may be struggling with the roles that we play in this life and, and understanding which hat we're supposed to wear, be wearing when. And, um, and also, how do we best help and serve? How do we best help and serve ourselves? How do we best help and serve others all around us? You should try this for at least 40 days, if not for the rest of your life. It's, it's, uh, it creates good insight for each and every one of us, and it um, helps give a, uh, more clarity to the path uh, that we need to be walking towards uh, or walking on. So the first question is, is who am I? Who am I? So when we ask ourselves this question, who am I? Well. For example, if I was to answer those questions, I could say, well, I'm a daughter, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, um, I'm a uh, dancer, I'm a singer, I'm a counselor, uh, I'm a life coach, uh, I'm a yoga. Other ways that we can think of um, that to answer the question of who am I is, um, and again, speaking for myself, is like, who am I? I'm infinite spirit. I'm the divine. Um, I'm a peaceful warrior. All different kinds of things we can think of. Okay, so this is just to give you an example. Um, the next question is: Is what do I want? And this can be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, ethereal, monetary. Okay. So, and me personally, my want is my main want is self-realization uh, in this lifetime. Um, but other things that we may want is that we may want to have a home. We may want to have a happy life. We may want to feel good. We may want to um, have a great career. We may want to make so much money. We may want a certain type of car. Or we may want to live in a certain area of the country or, or in some other country. We may want to have children. We may want to be married. We may um, want to have a girlfriend, a boyfriend. Um, we may want to be on the spiritual path. We may um, want to eat healthier. Um, we may um, want to have better relationships. We may want to go back to church. Uh, we may want to go back to temple. We uh, connect more with our family. We may want to start cooking again rather than eating out so much. Um, we may want to have enough money to take that vacation we've always wanted. The last question is, is how can I help and serve? So this question is, is that how can I help and serve myself as well as how can I help and serve all others? And when I say how can I help and serve myself, it is in how can I help and serve myself in a way that is healthy, happy, and holy. Um, how can I make better choices for myself? How can I um, take care of myself better type of things? Um, it also plays into understanding what's our dharma, what's our purpose in life, um, what, um, how do I want to help and serve, you know, how do I want to help and serve my community, how do I want to help and serve my family, how do I want to help and serve my business, how do I want to help and serve the country, the world, whatever it is. Um, and for example, how do I want to help and serve? Um, mine is exactly pretty much how I've been living my life for the last several years and it is how can I best um, meet people where they are and help them uh, become healthier and happier and holy? And in becoming happy, healthier, and holy, they become more at peace. And when they become more at peace, peace breeds peace. And then they begin to help one another. And, um, and, and we become healthier and happier and more peaceful within. And we begin to share that peace without and we begin to get in t touch with our true nature, our true potential. And that's my ultimate goal and how I help and serve. And I do that in a variety of ways. So that's my basic, um, who am I? What do I want? How can I help and serve? So one way that we can do this is that you simply, you can journal about it. 
write it down or pound it out on a keyboard anytime you get the inkling. You can write these questions on sticky notes and put them on your desk. You can put them in your purse. You can put it at your nightstand, um, um, at your, uh, next to your coffee machine, and ask yourself these questions. And the thing about it is, is it doesn't matter if the questions, um, if, if the questions give you any answers at that time. Sometimes you'll get answers, sometimes you won't. But what happens is, is when you take those questions inside, either verbally or internally, quietly, and silently to yourself, it begins to create a shift in you that begins to get in a level of alignment um, so that you will be getting clarity and answers to those questions. And um, because basically the divine universe um, will work in conjunction with you in those questions and bring to you um, exactly what you need uh, in the right time and you will realize who you really are and what you want and how you can help and serve. Okay, So another quick way to do this is I'm going to guide you through. It's not a really a meditation but it kind of could be. So basically what I want you to do is just sit comfortably somewhere and you do need to do this with your eyes closed. Um, but you can do this anywhere you want. Um, again, no driving in the car while you're doing this, but any other place is pretty much fine like this. But a quick way to get into sync with these questions, um, other than journaling and, and just reading them on a daily basis, is simply by getting quiet, okay, and closing your eyes, allowing your hands just to rest gently in your lap or on your knees. And just take a nice deep inhale breath and exhale and again inhale and exhale so the first question we ask ourselves is who am I who am I who am I Just allow the answers to come, whatever may come or doesn't come. The next question we ask ourselves is what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? It can be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, ethereal, monetary, what do I want? What do I want? Next question we ask ourselves is how may I help and serve? How may I best help and serve myself? And how may I help and serve all others? How may I help and serve? Keeping your eyes closed. Just notice these questions and any answers that may have come. Take these questions and any answers that may have come. Allow them to be out into the field of the divine universe, the infinite potential area. Just allow them to be planted there. And trust in good time you will become aware, fully aware, who you are, what you want, and how you're gonna be able to help and serve. Take a deep inhale breath. Hold the breath. 
and release the breath. Inhale through the nose and release the breath. One more time. Inhale and exhale. When you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. Now this exercise is something you can do on a daily basis, as frequently as you'd like to. And so, um, basically these are questions that you can ask anytime. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how young you are. It's good to teach your children this, um, because it gets them, it gets their mind asking these questions and getting clarity of who they are and what they want and how they can help and serve. And it come, you'll come up with um, great answers. Answers will come to you. Even if no answers came to you today, that's okay, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Eventually they will come. You'll feel them well up into you, and eventually they'll be in your lap. They'll be in your present awareness, and you'll know. Uh, you'll know, you know the answers to some of those questions. And you may have several answers to those questions, and that's okay too. You may end up seeing a choice, um, many choices you get to choose from. And that's part of the fun. You get to find out who you really are and how you get to help and serve what you really want. Okay? Hopefully this was a helpful tip today. And it is a great one to start using during the holidays. It'll help give you clarity as to um, what you're going to do in the new year. Be well. Be happy. Take care.